Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bearded Fortech. If you are new here, welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Ford has put out a TSB, which we're gonna look at on this computer over here, dealing with the 6.8 and 7.3 liter. Now this is not a recall, unlike somebody else that we know. It's a TSB. So let's go over here to the computer and take a look at this TSB. All right, coming up to the computer, we see it right there. Nope, excuse me, that one. 2020 through 2025 F Super Duty F Strip Chassis 2021 through 25 E Series 6.8 7.3 engine upper engine ticking tapping noise at idle. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So it says some of the vehicles listed in the above model statement may exhibit an an upper engine ticking or tapping noise at idle. Customers may also report extended or report experiencing rough engine performance, engine misfires, or a mill with DTCs 301 through 308, which is a misfire on cylinder one through eight. This may be due to camshaft and or valve tap it having excessive wear with the engine assembly. For vehicles that meet all of the criteria in the issue of the model statement, follow the service procedure. So let's take a look at the service procedure. These are all parts. These are for the Super Duty pickup and cab chassis camshaft and tappet repair. These are for Super Duty pickup cab chassis engine replacement. This is the E series camshaft and tappet repair. E series engine replacement. Oop, go back up a little bit. Go back up a little bit. F53 motorhome, F59 strip chassis cab, camshaft, tap it replacement. And F53 motorhome, F59 strip chassis engine replacement. So, and then parts to inspect and replace if necessary. All right, so here's the labor times for what we're doing. And here's the service procedure. Is a misfire detected? 301 through 308. Yes, proceed to step two. Step two, check for loose ignition coil wire connection or crack spark plug. Further workshop manual 30307 for engine ignition. Are any of these conditions present? Yes, does not apply. If it is a no on the misfires, proceed to step three. Can the noise be isolated to a specific cylinder using a diagnostic scan tool to cancel out cylinders and or engine stethoscope? Yes, proceed to step four. Remove the engine oil filter. No, article does not apply. So let's go to step four. Remove the engine oil filter. Open the oil filter assembly. Refer the workshop manual 303.00. General procedures for oil filter inspection is an excessive amount of metal debris present in the oil filter. Refer to GSB, various vehicle engine failure analysis. We can go back and look at that too. Yes, replace the long block assembly. No, proceed to step six. Remove both engine cylinder heads for cylinder head removal installation. Refer to that workshop manual. Inspect the camshaft and tap it for damage and the engine block cylinder wall for scoring. Is the extent of damage limited to the valve tappets or the camshaft? Yes, install new camshaft and valve tappets. For camshaft and valve tap it removal, go to that workshop manual. No. Replace the engine long block assembly. Now, this, what does it say? General service, uh, where did it go? Uh, GSB, various vehicles. So, I'm just going to type in a 2021, 2022, 2021, we're going to go to F-350. Okay. And then I want to go GSB. Um, battery. Transmission. Engine failure analysis. That's 22.7078. Oil filter, oil pan, cylinder head. So I want you to look 
in the oil pan. That's inside the oil pan. Metal shavings in the oil filter are not a concern. That little speck that it's pointing out. Small specks of metal in the oil filter media is normal. That's not normal. Large chunks in the pan. Large chunk, those look like piston McNugget. Excessive amounts of metal in the filter in between the pleats. That's in the VCV or VC. Ugh. Ugh. That's the solenoid. VVT solenoid. There's the cam bore. Cam bore. Cam bore. Cam. 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 You get the point. Okay. So, this is voluntary from Ford. This is not a recall. This is a TSB. Did I see these a lot? I saw them in the F-350s box trucks, ones that were idling a lot, um, like construction workers and stuff like that. Other than that, I haven't really seen it. I do have two 2023 models, fleet vehicles with a 7.3 in them. They're running just fine, no ticking, nothing like that. Um, this is not, not um, mandated or forced by NHTSA like they're doing with the GM recall. This is voluntary from Ford. Um, cover under warranty if your vehicle's still under warranty, obviously. But uh, so that's what's going on with that. Ford just released that uh, TSB. What did I say it was? Uh, 25, 2200, and that's affecting the 21 through 25 E series, 2020 through 25 F 53 and 59 commercial strip and motor home. That's the 73 and the 73, and then the 2020 through 25 Super Duty 68 and 73. So if you got any questions or concerns, feel free to email me. I'll get back to you, and we are going to figure this out together. I want you guys vehicles to be running good. As always, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit the merchandise so you can get a brake clean gloves, stuff like that. Now I'm going to get back to doing what I was doing.